Mr. Speaker, members, you know, when, when I was sworn into office, and just the same as all of you, we openly swore to uphold the U.S. Constitution, to defend the United States, to defend the state of Texas. But I think one thing that wasn't said, that I think needs to be said, is that we should swear an oath to defend our people. Not just their liberty, but their lives. And I think that's something that I think this body very conveniently forgets when it's politically expedient. And it's not just defend people when it's easy and defend people's lives when it's popular, but to do it even if people may be upset about it. Even if people say, well, what am I going to do? Because it's more important to protect lives than profits. And this is an effort and take time to make sure that people can live. That's it. That people can be alive. Because what do, what do profits, what do freedoms, what do liberties matter if you're dead? And this is the frustration in what we've done in this body over and over again. Right now, as of today, the total death count for COVID-19 in the United States is 1,100,028,903. That is today's current total. That is more deaths than all of the wars that our country has fought combined. More than the 600,000 during the Civil War, more than the 400,000 during the World War II, more than the 58,000 during Vietnam, 36,000 in Korea, and not to mention all the thousands during the Desert Storm, Afghanistan, Iraq. All of it pales in comparison to a singular event that took place over the past couple of years and actually is still going on. This number is not a fixed number. This, we, we all act like COVID-19 is behind us. COVID-19 is gone. We all act like nothing, nothing's wrong. No one, there's, hey, there's no need to mask up. There's no need to get vaccines. Nothing. But this number, this 1.12 million Americans is still ticking up by about 300 a day. While that is nowhere close to the 3,000 or 4,000 and 5,000 a day it was in the height of the pandemic, 300 Americans a day dying needlessly is a tragedy. And I think we ignore it because the number is so vast, the number is so large, the deaths are so high that we've come to ignore it. And yet we are setting ourselves up we are setting ourselves up for another one. And not only are we setting ourselves up, and I think Christi uh, Rosa Morales in her speech says that, well, there might be another pandemic. That's actually wrong. Every expert that has talked about this issue has said point blank, there will be another pandemic. Even though COVID-19 is not yet over, right now, if you go out on social media, you go on to other places, go on to your Facebook groups, you will see people who have posted they've caught COVID for the second and third and fourth time. And many of them do not survive those second and third encounters. And yet we act like this is just nothing. 300 Americans a day dead? Nothing. A 1.1 million Americans dead. And we act like it's nothing. We act like it's just water on the bridge. What's a little spilled milk? We act like this is just a part of life now. That this is okay, this is acceptable. It's not. It shouldn't be acceptable. And we should not be setting ourselves up in a governmental system that hobbles our first line of defense. When we have a cri the next crisis, not if, when we have the next pandemic, which may be 10 years from now, maybe five years from now, 
It may be next month. Mr. We Speaker, don't know. 